welcome to PC Woodskits Tech Talk. Today we're looking at the Coolit Systems Vantage CPU cooler. This one here is an advanced liquid cooling self-contained kit. As you can see here, it comes with a radiator with the fan on it, the tubes, everything is already connected and ready to go. You don't have to pour any water, any liquid in there. It's ready, it's tight, it's set up. It has a display on it to show you the status of things and um, basically this supports Intel and AMD CPUs. Okay, so um, if you've never installed one of these, it's very simple. Okay, you've got a series of backplate brackets that you have to install on the uh, back of the motherboard. You have to choose the appropriate one to match the uh, socket, the type of CPU that you're installing. In my case, I'll be installing an Intel Core i7, so that's the uh, 1366 socket that I'll be using. So reading in the manual, I um, found the appropriate uh, backplate that I have to attach. It comes with some stickers there and it actually says 1366 right on it so you can't go wrong. And uh, you just have to line it at the back like this, put it through and um, on the other side it has some screws that are going to attach to that backplate. So pretty simple and straightforward. Taking a look here at the pump, okay, it has a copper base on the bottom and uh, it already comes with thermal paste on it. So um, it makes it very simple, very easy, and hassle-free. It's, it's ready to go, basically. You just have to attach it and make sure that um, you've uh, selected the appropriate option on the side here where it says the um, type of socket. So 1366 is what I've got it set to right now, but you can adjust it, obviously, the screw, and unlatch it and basically bring it over to 1156 or 775 depending on the socket. I already have it set up to 1366. Actually it came like that out of the box ready for Intel Core i7 so I didn't really have to do anything. If you have an AMD CPU no problem you just take those brackets out and install the AMD brackets that it comes with. Okay so uh, this works well with both. It has these two little buttons here that you press once installed and it basically allows you to set up that display and get different readings okay so we'll be doing that in just a moment and of course you have to attach the fan that it comes with the radiator fan to your motherboard now like I said this is a self-contained kit you don't have to worry about uh, the liquid it never runs out it's always in there and um, there's no leaks no nothing it's been proven tested uh, what else can I tell you about the uh, radiator here the fan well the other side of this uh, radiator has no fan okay so basically you've got air that it's blowing out of the case okay that's the way this one is set up to blow out you could install another fan so have it sandwiched uh, here around the um, the radiator so one fan on this side you can install and of course there's one on the other side so you've got this push-pull effect to blow the air quicker faster out of the case so that it keeps things cooler overall and that's what I like about these things it's cool and quiet here it is installed like I mentioned uh, very nice on this Intel Core i7 system as you can see okay uh, when we look at it in the dark so you can see the uh, display better there's the reading on the temperature of the liquid there's the uh, reading on the fan the RPM on the fan and the last thing at the bottom is the reading of the pump RPM okay and I have this set up on extreme mode because I'm overclocking the uh, CPU to 4 gigahertz there are different modes different settings that you can go in here and set up things the way you want obviously if you want Fahrenheit for the temperature readings you can have it in Fahrenheit or Celsius I have it set to extreme mode because I'm overclocking but you can have this on silent mode there's a performance mode there's different modes there depending on what you're trying to do and that will uh, allow you to um, have the pump work faster for example the fan work faster if you're not uh, keen about this blue color on the display you can actually change the colors you can adjust the way things are displayed to match the colors of your LEDs in your case for example okay so you can rotate and go through these colors and choose the one that uh, that you like the most you could even have this pulsate so if you wanted it to go in and out kind of like there it is pulsating you could do that too so lots of different options there to control and customize the way you want this to be displayed including the angle because depending on the orientation and how you're installing this in your uh, on top of your CPU you might have to adjust the way the display shows things so it even allows you to do that as well um, what else can I tell you about the display well in the about option 
it shows you there the version of, that I'm using okay when it was built all right and that's really about it like I said I'm using this in an Intel Core i7 980x running at 4 gigahertz here is the uh, specs of the test system and um, I've had other CPUs uh, installed in this system and tested so that we can compare and do some benchmarks now when this runs at idle we're looking about 25 to 30 degrees Celsius so very nice and cool and quiet at full load it's running about as you can see there 57 58 degrees Celsius all the way up to maybe 66 maybe max it'll reach 69 but um, really really not that hot at all there are some comparisons again I for Cooler Master V6 GT, the Noctua, the default stock cooler from Intel, ambient room temperature 22 degrees Celsius or 72 Fahrenheit as you can see, great results, about 5 degrees Celsius less than, than those other ones. So terrific results, definitely recommend it if you're looking for a cool and quiet, easy solution that's liquid Okay, for your CPU. So I'd like to thank Coolit for providing it and I hope you enjoyed this video. And thank you for watching.